Hey, it's Richie here. Thanks so much for coming back to the channel. Now, I have spoken pretty positively in the past about free trade. I'm a fan of them in general and I've created a step-by-step -step beginner's guide where you can check that out. I'll put a link here, otherwise you can find it in the description. In fact, I've personally got my 2021 ISO with them. It's definitely not a perfect app and there are a couple of issues from a user perspective which I'm going to talk about in this video. And I'll warn you, it does kind of sound a bit first world problems, but I want to give you a full picture of everything that I wish was different about the app. Everything that kind of bugs me, all the issues I've kind of faced and everything from someone who actually uses the app most days. And if you're still interested in signing up with Free Trade after hearing all my moaning, then please, please, please use my link in the description and we both get a free share worth up to £200 and you don't actually get that if you just go to their website for whatever reason. So you only get it if you use uh, my affiliate link and so yeah, please sign up and once you have, um, I've created a free net worth tracking dashboard and just shoot me an email and I'll send that over to you for free. And if you're completely new to free trade and actually don't know any of the features, here's a quick 20 second overview. So free trade is basically a super low cost way of investing into stocks and shares. They offer commission free trading, which means you can buy and sell a UK stock and you don't pay them anything. And you can start with as little as two pounds because they offer something called fractional shares, which means if you don't want to buy an entire share of a company, and let's say you only want to put £10 into Amazon instead of the $3,000 plus for an entire share, then you can buy a portion of the share and you still get to participate in the upside. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the moaning. Okay, so free trade is app only. And I get it because a lot of companies have gone mobile first because, you know, obviously most of us are glued to our mobile phones and they want to prioritize that user experience as opposed to the desktop one. But it would be nice to at least have the option. You can't really dig in as much on your phone as you would on the computer. Here you can see the graph on the screen only shows you part of the data. And if you're new to life, you might even be fooled into thinking that Coca-Cola didn't exist before 2016. Hopefully you're not using free trade as your only method of researching because it gives you very limited data. So you can see at the top of the screen it has this one liner of information about the company which sometimes is pretty accurate and other times it's just more comical. It does make me wonder if anybody ever saw the Amazon one liner and just clicked away thinking okay that's not the Amazon that I'm looking for. And as you scroll down you can see it's got one or two lines of description and just a couple of metrics which isn't really enough to go on. It would be nice if they gave a little bit more data so you're not going back from your phone to your computer to your phone again because that's pretty annoying. It would make life a lot easier if they gave more data on each stock as well as the option to use free trade for my laptops. So buying and selling stocks on free trade is a bit of a weird one because it only gives you limited options. So you can only select the pound amount that you want to buy of a stock. So if you go in there thinking, okay, I want 16 shares of whatever, you have to get your calculator out first, work it out to the exact decimal, then go back and say, okay, this, or you kind of try and error it and try and figure out what it is. I don't know why it doesn't just give you the option to put in, okay, I want 16. I mean, this is even a basic feature on most crypto exchanges and cryptocurrency is such a new industry compared to the stock market. Whereas free trade has made it into this weird guessing game where I feel like I should win a prize for getting it right at the end. And what makes this even weirder is when it comes to selling, the reverse is true. So instead of choosing the pound amount, you choose how many shares you want to sell, which is kind of strange because even though I haven't sold anything yet, I'm guessing when people want to withdraw, they've got a number in mind because they're withdrawing it for a reason. So they might go in thinking, okay, I want to take out £5,000. And instead of just being saying, okay, let me sell £5,000 worth of this stock, they pretty much have to do the trial and error game all over again. I don't know why free trade don't just choose either one or the other. Please just do both and let us avoid this unnecessary maths. So at the time of recording this, there's 5,347 stocks and shares available on first trade. And after those, 1,329 of them, you can't buy fractional shares for. So if you wanted to own one, you'd have to buy the entire thing. And I emailed the support to ask why that's the case with VUSA. And they said, at this time, we don't allow fractional purchases of UK stocks and ETFs. However, we plan to introduce this feature in the future. 
Now, right now, we can't buy a lot of US-based index funds, such as VU or VTI, because of the way that they're taxed. So we're already kind of restricted to the UK one. So I'm hoping they change this soon. So even though they offer 5,347 different stocks and shares, somehow the one obscure company that you've been researching and want to buy is not always available. Now they are adding new things pretty regularly, which is helpful. So for some of them, I'm hoping they add them in the future. And for others, I've just created a workaround. So for example, instead of buying the ETFs that I wanted to get, I found a UK equivalent of a, the S&P tracker that's actually denominated in pounds, which saves me on the foreign exchange fee, which actually brings me nicely onto my next point. Look, I get it. All companies charge some sort of foreign exchange fee, even if they say they don't. Just like when you go to get some travel money from one of these high street places and they've got big bold letters like 0% commission offered here, but they set their own exchange rate. So you're paying for it one, or the, one way or the other. And I get it because every company needs to protect themselves with the fluctuation that happens in the exchange rate. You, they want to make sure that they're not left out of pocket. So I get there needs to be some buffer. But when there's companies like Trading212 that do this for literally a third of the price, which is 0.15%, I don't get why free trade need to do 045 it just seems a little bit excessive. Now, I made a video comparing investing in the UK versus investing US, and you can check that out here. But spoiler alert, you made a lot more money if you invest in the US. So I feel like this is something that would hit us a lot, especially when you want to invest in these tech companies like Tesla and Amazon and Apple and all these sort of things. Now, personally, I'm not a trader, but if I was buying and selling on the daily, this foreign exchange fee is going to stack up pretty quickly. Again, I know this company needs to make money somehow, but at £10 a month, it means that you need to make sure that you're earning at least that or £120 a year from these additional stocks to make it worth your while. And the use of limit orders, which is basically when you can say that when this stock hits this price, buy it on my behalf, is a great strategy to have in place so you can get it to automatically buy the dip. Usually that's just like a basic feature on most platforms and for some reason on free trade it's this added extra i mean i kind of get it for this for the stop loss because that's a bit more advanced and not a lot of people use that you're pretty hands-on if you're using stop losses but limit orders i would have thought that was just common practice so i haven't upgraded to free trade plus yet but i probably will and right now my plan is this so as part of the free trade plus you get interest on your cash up to four thousand pounds which is three percent and magically that actually works out to be 120 pounds a year. So the interest you get and the fee you have to pay for Free Trade Plus should just cancel each other out. So essentially you're just breaking even. Now it's not really an ideal place I wanna park 4,000 pounds, but f for now as an emergency fund, it's fine. Okay, in 2021, I might be on my own with this one, but you can't beat getting your questions answered instantly. Live chat would actually be great as well, and it looks like they've got it, but when you go to use it, it's just basically them asking you to email them. There's been times in the past where I've phoned companies like Vanguard, and just to ask them a question to make sure I understand things correctly, or ask them to walk me through something, and it's just ideal really, because you can just get things done there and then. Whereas when it's email only, you email them, then you have to wait, and then you get an answer when you've moved on with your life. There have been times where I've sent a free trade an email on a Friday evening, and I haven't heard back from them until Wednesday afternoon. Now, a lot can happen in that time, like with price fluctuations, and you can just kind of miss opportunities waiting for a response. I should mention that I've also emailed them other times and got responses a lot quicker. And I'm guessing this is just one of those ways where they're keeping their cost down low and which enables them to pass the savings on to us. So I can't really complain. I probably would get quicker responses with some of the bigger companies, but right now this kind of works for me. Okay, so those are my main gripes and I just want to quickly mention two features I wish they had. I would love it if they made making automatic investments every single month easy. So I could set it up and say, okay, first of every month, buy £200 of these four stocks and it just automatically happened. Right now, I have to go in there, top up and then go and buy it, which is fine. It's not like it's that much work, but when it happens automatically, you know it's just going to definitely happen. Whereas when you do it manually, 
sometimes you can miss a month and you're just not as consistent as you could be. As I say, it's not that big of an issue. And when you buy manually, you can probably identify the dips and buy them as opposed to buying on a set day every single month. But for index funds, I don't really dip that much. Buying it automatically would be ideal. Another feature I would love for them to have is the drip or the dividend reinvesting plan. This is basically when you tell the platform, hey, instead of paying me that three pounds or whatever I was gonna get as dividends, why not just automatically reinvest it back into that same company and just allows you to compound automatically. I actually love this strategy because depending on the dividend yield you get and the number of stocks you start off with, you can just allow that to compound and what will end up happening is you end up getting so many new free shares. I say free, it's paid for with your dividend obviously, but you get so many additional shares and once it becomes a sizable amount, you can just say, hey, okay, now I want to turn off um, dividend reinvesting and you just get a much larger amount paid to you as income instead. Anyway, that's a whole other different strategy, which I'll probably do a video about in the future. But the point is free trade don't offer this right now. And uh, yeah, okay, you can probably do it manually, assuming that free trade allow you to buy fractional shares of the stock that you want to do this with. But you'd have to make sure you stayed on top of it to actually get the benefits of compounding. Also, there's just something nice about it happening automatically and you not checking in on it for a while. And then once you do check it, you're just pleasantly surprised. So yeah, that's all of my gripes with free trade. But having said all that, I don't regret going with them for my 2021 ISA. They've currently got the lowest fees of any other ISA out there that I found. And since I'm not planning to cash out of this for another 30 years, the fees mean a lot to me because those small little chunks here and there is going to end up being thousands or even tens of thousands 30 years down the line. And if you've heard all of my gripes and moaning and you're still interested in signing up with free trade, please do so with my link below. Like I said, we both will get a free share worth up to £200 and you get access to my net worth tracking dashboard, which I currently sell for £20, but it'll be free for you. All you have to do is sign up with my link and put in £2 and obviously let me know so I can know to give you the give you access to my dashboard. But yeah, it's free money. And if you like this kind of content and you want to see more, please do me a favor and hit like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of thing. It takes me a ridiculous amount of time to make these sort of videos. Like you'd be surprised. It probably takes about 12 hours between scripting it, shooting it, editing it, all that sort of stuff. So doing these things, the liking, the commenting, all that sort of thing, it just helps YouTube know to recommend it more, which means more people see it, which means it helps me out a ton. So thanks so much if you've already done it. I really appreciate it. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.